Hello, I'm Dr. Ron England, and I'm coming to you to talk a little bit about cascading style sheets and JavaScript. And actually, what I'm going to talk to you about is not using JavaScript. So I'm going to show you here a, a nice little menu system um, on a web page. And notice I have one here with three drop downs, another one here with a couple of drop downs, and then each of these drop downs actually has a sub menu that goes with it. And as I hover over each of them, you can see that they highlight. And then if there is a submenu, it spawns off. And each of those can then be linked to some um, page or whatever. Now, this was completely created in just using CSS. And I didn't get really fancy with the styling, but you, of course, could get very fancy with the styling. So the first thing is, is that if you really want to make a, a maintainable menu system, you don't want to have to have a lot of code embedded in the actual HTML that does that. Well, here's the HTML. And I do have it wrapped inside of nav tags because it is a navigation, but that actually doesn't have any real functionality of the entire of the way the system works. You simply have an unordered list with list items inside of it. Okay, the first unordered list has two list items, and I actually have them cleverly titled level one item one, level one item two. And inside of the, those, I have another unordered list. The first one has three items. The second one has two items. Or, but those two items, which is level the level two items, it, but they then in turn have level three items. In other words, if you come back over here and you looked at this level one and level two item one, which had three level three, and level two item two had four items. And if you look at that, it's also got an unordered list and another unordered list that is simply embedded inside of the list item of the unordered list. Now, if you should know the HTML, the basic HTML of how to embed these unordered list and list items and wrap it around every single item, I have an anchor, but the anchor actually doesn't lead anywhere because I've just put single quotes there. However, you can very easily make that href point to something which would make it clickable and you can click on it and go somewhere. So I have this really nice navigation and you can see that the navigation in here there's really no nothing other than HTML code. Now the beauty of this is, is everything is being done with cascading style sheets and what I really wanted to show was what some of that power of CSS is. So let's go up here um, and actually look at some of the CSS. Now in CSS, you have this ability to reference by class, you have this ability to reference by ID, but in this, I'm only defining styles for existing HTML um, elements. That's it. These are all just simply working with HTML elements. So, and here's where you get some of the interesting features. Well, I have a UL element here and some styling for it, and I have a list item here with some styling for it. Okay, that's all this styling, if you notice, is simply position, color, and appearance. That's all I've got for this UL and this LI. Now, here's where it gets really interesting here. Um, when I go over this, I notice that it hovers, it opens up. Okay, but these are, the, this is an unordered list that is embedded inside of an unordered inside of another unordered list but also is embedded inside of it, an li well if we come down here and look at this right here unordered list unordered list in other words what i can do is i can embed a i can i can define a style that is used in all unordered lists that are embedded inside of unordered lists that ul ul does that notice if i come down here you can see that i can embed I can uh, define a style for an unordered list that is embedded inside of another unordered list, which is embedded inside of another unordered list. I can define a style for that. Okay. Now, each of these unordered lists is actually embedded inside of a list item of that other unordered list. But the nice thing is, is that I can actually define styles for each level of embedded UL. Now, what I'd like to do here is I'd like to do something when I hover over a list item. So right here I have list item hover. Now, if you notice, if I list item, if I hover over the list item, well, two things occur. One is the lower menu opens up, but the other one is it turns yellow. 
So if I just simply put list item hover background yellow, that will that's where I defer, determine make the actual background yellow. Now I have this other one here where I have a, another action that I occur that occurs when I hover, but it only ho it hovers and it does something else. It actually opens up the next unordered list. So I'm going to do a couple things here that are going to be kind of interesting. Notice that even here, if I open up this this level, this first level unordered list, it doesn't open up the second level automatically. Okay, well, that's another nice beauty of CSS is that I can define that only the child unordered list actually applies this style. And the key to this is, is that when you first have that unordered list there, the display is set to none. It won't actually display the unordered list of an unordered list unless you hover and that unordered list displays. But I have this strange looking carrot character here. Well, that character character actually means child of this list item hover. And it's what keeps the entire set of unordered lists from opening up. To see this in action, what I can do is I can remove that. I can save it. I can come over here and reload this. And now you'll see that the whole thing opens up when I actually do that. The, I mean, in other words, the other levels open up because it's applying it to all levels of the unordered list beyond that. However, when I put this character in, it says only apply this style to the first child of this list item. That simple. And with that, I can create a nice, pretty, oh, oops, I got to reload. I got to save and reload here. I got to save this now that I fixed it. Then I reload this. I have this beautiful CSS only menu. Okay. Uh, a lot of thanks to some of the sites that have actually had a lot of good materials on creating CSS menus, such as uh, HTML Dog and some and a few other sites. But that, you know, that was a very good site there, showing how to create the CSS only menu system. Thank you very much and good programming. And this time, I taught you how to not program in JavaScript. Have fun.